I think we'll uh, uh, start I'll with your introduction. My introduction, I just give my introduction. Uh, as I was telling everybody that I was a merchant uh, travel many places in the world. <clears throat> and uh, uh, my first three, seven, seven, seven. understanding of religion or first understanding of awareness of the Quran <coughs> was by a Christian missionary. Okay, when I was on ship, I met a Christian missionary, yeah. and uh, he, you know, as Christian missionary, they ask question about religion. You know, they like to talk about Islam and Christianity and these religions. So I was 19, 20 years of age, no knowledge of the Quran at all, no knowledge of the anything, nothing. So he asked me that you you believe in the Quran? I said yes, I believe in the Quran. And then he asked me, do you believe in the Bible? I like, guess I said that. Bible was we read before the Quran, we believe the Bible also, but it's not in the true form that I know. But uh, he said, uh, You know, Muhammad Sallallahu copied the Quran and made, uh, copied the Bible and made the Quran. And then I look at his face, I couldn't understand what he's talking about. So he said, Have you read the Quran? So I said, Yes, I've read the Quran. So he said, Can you tell me something from the Quran so can I can relate? the Quranic verse from the Bible, which is already there in the Bible before. <laughs> then I was looking at his face. You understand? I was looking at his face. So he said, can you tell me? I said, I cannot tell you. He said, why cannot you tell me? You said, you read the Quran? Yes, I said, I read the Quran, but it's in Arabic. And in Arabic, we Muslims that was my knowledge at that time, 2019 is a phase. In Muslims, we read the Quran, we don't understand it. So I don't understand anything. So for him, it was difficult for me to explain to him that I read a book which I don't understand. Because he said, you just now said you read the book and now you can't tell me anything from the book. I said, I cannot tell you. So he said, okay, we are, we are got this Bible in 3,000 different languages translated for you to understand, you read this book. So he gave me this book, I said I will read this book, but before this book I will read the Quran. Because for 20 years, and at that, at that time I also thought there are no translation of the Quran, only the Arabs can understand the Quran. Because that was 19, 20 years of age. I was so ignorant about religion. So I thought that, you know, only Arabs can understand the Arabic language, so they can, they can only understand the Quran, not me. So I said, okay, I will, I will read the Quran, but translation, you know. So this is the most, uh, the, it's all over the world, all over the world, the Muslim community do not know the Quran at all. I'm not talking about that, it's like you, you can speak Arabic language or you can speak Arabic language. I'm talking about the Filipinos, the Indonesians, the Malaysians, the Pakistani, the Bangladesh, the Afghanistani, I'm sorry to say, all over the world, they read the Arabic Quran for recital and do not know nothing. And to me it was a shock when this guy was asking me, you know a Muslim, you know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you believe in him, you know Quran. I uh, said, look, this Bible, the certain Holy Bible. If I ask some, some Muslim, do you believe this Bible? He said, no, I don't believe it. Do you know anything? What is the Bible? No, I don't know, but I don't believe it. I said, okay, this is the Quran. This is the Quran. This is Arabic. You have read it? Yes, I have read it in the Arabic. Do you believe it? Yes, I believe it. What do you believe? The Arabic? What do you believe? What do you believe? You are lying to yourself. You read the Arabic and you say, you believe what believe? You don't believe anything. You believe what your father told you. Not in the Quran, you see what's in the written down. And I'm not talking to the illiterate mind, I'm talking to the literate people of the world, Muslims. They don't know anything about the Quran. They do not know anything of the Quran. What's the Quran says? <laughs> so <laughs> this problem, you know, I started reading the Quran. I was so shameful. That I was so ashamed. You know, I don't know my book. My book, I'm claiming I'm Muslim. I don't know Quran. I don't know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the Quran. I don't know anything about the Quran. And I'm talking about Islam and Muslims. So that is my turning point of life. And believe me,
not that time, but you know, later off, this was the occasion, 1920. But at the age of 33, when I reached the age of 33, I decided that I gave up the career of Merchant Navy. I will read the Quran in translation. Uh, there are different, different uh, uh, translations of the Quran, different Arabic dialects are there. You know, I try to understand, but, listen to me very carefully, but however, I will teach, I will learn from God. I will not learn from any man. Hey, he created me, he must teach me. <laughs> you don't, the Quran is not a book of a human being. If any book, physics books, you have to go to a physics, because physics is a subject written by man. Chemistry, biology, botany, any book, any religious, any, any books. But if you talk about the Quran, he is the author, he is the teacher. He says, he described Muhammad Rasulullah he described Musa he described Ibrahim he described all the Muslims. So he is a teacher, he is telling you who will touch the spirit of the Quran. None can touch until you purify. It's not for everybody, everybody can understand the Quran. It is, God has written down the criteria. Who will try to guide his life? Who would like to, you know, convert or revert or try to take the guidance from the Quran? So this is how I started in the Quran. Not any school of thought. I was belonging to a Sunni Hanafi Muslim, where there were, you know Hanafi? Yeah. Deobandi? Deoband from India, you know Deoband, no? Oh no, okay, Hanafi, you understand, Hanafi. What else you said? I knew Hanafi, what else you ask? Uh, in India there are people, they are known as... Shafi. The Shafi, Hanbali, you know, Maliki, they are Imams, four Imams, right? No, I mean, because when we say that the Hanafi, people they follow the Imam Abu Hanifa, is very unfortunately, some people they follow blindly, Yani, it is a matter what, what, what they wrote, their books. Some people, for example, the, most of Asia is Hanafi, they follow Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So but there is India, there is some, some part of the, I think what they call this part is... Uh, Bareilly? No, the, their whole state brother in India, they follow the Shafi, what they call Shafi is separate. Oh, uh, it's a South Indians. Yes, yeah, South Indians. South Indians. Yeah, they are Shafi. Yeah, yeah. Shafi. No, no, Shafi is a simple for Hanafi, Maliki, Shafi, humble. No, for only Hanafi has got branches in oh, Pakistan. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, yes. Hanafi yeah, Hanafi. Yes. 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 So my family is divided into Hanafi two branches. But sorry, I just show yeah. you, brother. I don't know where they get this deviation. It's not there. Yeah. I know, I know. Well, I'm just telling you what is in Pakistan going on. <laughs> I don't know where will they get. And I'm telling you the Hanabi only one. I know this. Yeah. I know that. I can explain I'm just telling you, my family members are divided into two, this two groups. And they say that the, the problem is, the problem lies that Muhammad is, is made of light. <coughs> one group says he's made of light. He's not a human. And the other group says, no, he's a human. That is the difference between a Hanafi two groups. Anyway, so this uh, this problem, uh, my family members in belonging to a particular school, you know, they they, they had I had problems with them. Then I had problems with the scholars of in Pakistan because they you know to them religion is like like business. You understand business? Religion is business. Uh, if even you know the truth. They don't say, okay, we agree this is the truth, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm programmed into, into one particular school and I'm paid for that and I can't go against it. You follow what I'm saying? So they, mm -hmm. like Hanafi group or Shafi group or Humbly group, and then they finance those guys, finance those groups. So it becomes a political system. So if, you, if I've, I've spoken to Christians also, very strong Christians, missionaries, they recognize the truth if I quote the verse of the Quran. But however, they say, we, 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 we understand this is the truth, but we follow because we are paid for it. We are doing a particular job. So similarly, in, 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 in the so-called, so-called, I'm telling the Muslim community in the whole world, they are also, you know, divided into schools of thoughts, and then they follow one, one particular school, and they, I, I, well, that's their choice. 
And the <coughs> Imam, Imam is teaching, you know, the schools of the thoughts are being taught in the whole Muslim community. But what is the truth that we have to know? You know that I, I, I gave up my profession to find out that truth. And I followed the Quran and the Messenger through the Quran, not otherwise. No human being can teach the Quran. In spite of me talking about the Quran, I did 50 lectures on the, on the Quran. But still, uh, people is God's choice to whom he guides. On the day of judgment, this book will be placed and the prophets will be brought forward. And you will be questioned. al Ardu and the earth will shine with the glory of his Lord and the book will be placed. And the, the prophets who preach the book and the witnesses who preach the book will be brought forward and a, a judgment will be pronounced between them. So on the day of judgment, my course book, what I studied, why I studied, what for? To get Jannah? And good Rabbana Tina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab al That's my purpose of life. Not belonging to certain school. I want good life in this world. I want good life in the hereafter. I don't want to go into, into, into growing, joining group. This group is wrong and this group is right. I'm not interested in it. Uh, to them, to their religion, to them, my religion. I don't go into debates that. As a matter of fact, this is if your aim is that I want this dunya good for me and dunya good alas for me and Jannah on the day of judgment. And the, on the day of judgment, the book is placed and you can see the book and the prophets are brought forward. You have to answer on that book. I can read many books, believe me. You can read any many, many books. But the question and answer session in the day of judgment is from the book of God. It never says from Torah. It never says from Injil, from Zabur or from Hadith or from any book. The book is this in front of you. So to me, this is my change. I did not go to any school to understand the Quran. I have self-studied myself and I strongly believe that God brought me. That's my belief. If you think I'm wrong, you can ask me any question regarding about God. Then I ask you about God. You know God. <laughs> then you have, if you know God, then you can ask me. I can ask you a question. I believe I strongly say that. <coughs> Categorically, I'm saying that God speaks to me through the Quran. Not the, in my ears. Not like that. I ask clarification He gives to me. That's coming from God. There's no, no, I'm not saying that, you know, I hear voices in my voice and God said to me like this, Mama said, no, 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 stop for long. <laughs> I ask. The eyes are clear to you. God has spoken to you. This is because it's the Kalam of Allah. It's the book of Allah. Revealed on Muhammad Rasulullah and other messengers. So the message has come to us. We have to read the book. We have to ponder it. And we have to take the decision on our own. Whether you teach me, me teach me, he teaches you, this guy teaches you. But you have to take the decision. It's your own. And God knows your heart and mind. He said, And we made the Quran easy for you to remember. Is there anyone who will take want to take guidance? It's very easy. How you can say it is difficult when Allah says easy? Because you don't want to take guidance. If you want to take guidance, it's easy. Easy. No problem. So this is how, and this is I've delivered many lectures and I'm delivering which you might if you have any doubts, you can ask questions about Mary, the only parent of, of Jesus. You know that. Maryam. Maryam yeah. is the only parent of Jesus. Is it true or false? Yeah, I mean the mother of Yeah, mother of, yeah. mother of Jesus. Yes. Yes. You believe? Yeah. So this is my topic. Okay. I prove by the Quran that you know that in the ayat. Yeah. But still you want to have doubt. You, you, if you pronounce, oh, no, 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 I'm saying it. You believe that. That Maryam alayhi salam is the only parent of Jesus. Okay, okay. Do, do, can we start with question? Yes, please, please. Yes. Okay, now okay, we First question. Yeah. You said that I only believe the Quran. I believe the Rasulullah in the Quran. Of course. 
Okay. No, I believe and the Quran spoke. Allah spoke to me. Okay, I, 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 I to truly me. In, uh, understand. Okay. I, I truly understand what you say. So, if we said that only we believe the Quran, where you get the salat? How you gonna pray salat? I pray. Did you pray? Yeah, no, I don't know. I said, where you get the, the ahkam of the salat? Look, did I, did I pray or not first of all? No, Alhamdulillah. And believe me, this gentleman, this gentleman, you, or oh, I don't know, there were four people in front of me. Yeah, Maybe yeah I, I was also there. Was praying exactly the same as I was praying. Because normally people don't pray like this, you know that. How do they pray? Uh, I get your point. He knows. I know your point. I know your point. You know what I said. Imam, Imam, he knows. He knows. I want to know that. Do you know? Do you know? Everybody pray like that, like you pray. Like what do you mean? Like you pray today, right now, and the gentleman this brother is sitting right now. He prayed exactly as I prayed before. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
To me, it says you take the, excuse me, please, brothers. What the Kidu means you take from the standing position of Ibrahim, the place maqam is the standing of Ibrahim. Ibrahim Fatamahunna. And Ibrahim was was uh, tried by the words, he completed them. Ibrahim was made the Imam. So Imam that stands there at the Muqam Ibrahim is the standing of Ibrahim al Islam. So Allah says to us, what the khidu, you all of you take from the standing position of Ibrahim Musallah, the place of prayer. So I have taken the, the then you have prayed exactly the same way. He has, he has prayed exactly the same way. I prayed exactly the same way. And maybe he prayed the exact same way. Now there are five different types of prayers. One minute, I will answer you. I'm asking now. Five different types of prayers are being practiced in Masjid Ram today also. When the Imam prays, he finishes the prayer, he leaves. The Shia comes with his Imam. The Hanafi Imam comes with his Imam. The Shafi, the other Imams come with the Imam. And then they pray with the people in the Mecca. So five types of prayers that Imam are, you can see today also. But the Imam of the Masjid Al Haram Masjid Imam prayed the one style. So we all know there are five different types of pray practice in the world. Five different types. Now you have to tell me Muhammad Rasulullah prayed five types or one type. Okay. He will say five. Hold on. No, no. Yes, you will say five. No, and brother, no, what I say? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> you don't, but there are five types of prayers are practiced. There are five. Now, they say, you follow the Imam. Hanafi Imam. Oh, I want to play like Shia today. To do tomorrow, I want to play like Hanafi. The other guy says, humbly, the Shafi. I can't play five different types of Fajr. I pray like this and Zohar. I pray this and Asal. So you say, Fano, you have to follow the Imam. You are telling me you follow the Imam. So the Imam prays one, one time. The other Imam prays the other time. So the difference of the prayers because of the Imams. So you are following an Imam. So I am also following an Imam of Masjid Ram. And I have an ayah you take from there. So out of this, I agreed on the one which is practiced in Masjid Ram. I am not denying Hadith. I am agreeing to the Hadith which, which describes the prayer of Masjid Ram. So I take the prayer of the Masjid Ram. <coughs> you understand now? Huh? I'm not denying hadith. You must understand I'm not okay, okay. the denial of hadith. Remember, I will explain to you now. Let me complete this. Quran is the Furqan. Uh, you know, Quran is a Furqan, the criteria to judge anything. To judge hadith, to judge science, to judge Bible, to judge Bhagavad Gita, anything. But you have to make the Quran is the Furqan, the criteria. So my criteria is the Quran. And if I say, what do in Maqam Ibrahim Musallah? And I see there are five types of musalla prayer in the world. I take the Imam prayer of the Masjid Ram. So that is my okay. accepting okay. the hadith okay. of that okay. prayer. Okay, did you finish? First, no, you understand? I, 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 I understand what you're saying. But humbly, I, very humbly, I am asking you. I, 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 I don't sorry. disturb you when you are talking. Don't okay. disturb me when, okay. when I'm talking. Okay. Okay. No, I don't. Listen, I, I, and then finish. Yani ask, I will ask you the question, answer my question, and then ask me, I will answer. Okay. So, Ittikhad in Arabic, yani, the, the one, another question, if I ask you, you said that I follow the people of Makkah. No, no, I didn't say people of Makkah, Imam. I, I get from the, from the Salat from Imam. Makkah. I didn't Imam. say people of Makkah. Me, uh, Makkah, okay. No, I didn't say Imam, people, Imam, Imam, Imam. Of Masjid oh, okay, Miss, imagine, okay. Uh, Akhi, do you know there was a time now you are asking a question or you are explaining something? No, I, I am asking you a question. The question I also the answer. No, 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 I, no. I, 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 you want me to answer your question? You want me to answer your question? Yes. He was asking me for, for one, two years back, some years back there were four Imams. I told you there are five Imams today also. You don't have trust. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Let me finish. I'm not talking about that now. Now you still, understand. Still you don't know my question. I know your question. Still you you, you know are saying question. that for some years back, there were four musallas in the in the Masjid Ram. You are saying this to me. I am telling you today. You go there, the Imam of Masjid Ram when he leaves away, the five musallas you can see today also. So the five musallas are also practiced today. So you don't have to go into the history to understand. It is being practiced today. The five musallas are practiced today. They don't follow the Imam of Masjid Ram. Okay. They don't follow. So the five musallas are there. Akhi, wait. They are there. Let me finish the following. I get the answer. 
No, still you don't, you, you, you don't give the answer to me. You don't get the question. Yani you go around and just around. Okay, what's the question? The question is, first of all, totally the, the, the meaning you give in this Arabic, uh, okay, wrong. I, I against Arabic language. Okay. So the Quran, for example, if I came to you, tell you, yani sit down means go, are you going to listen to me? You don't gonna listen to me. Of course, I'm, I'm contradicting the language itself. This is contradicting Arabic itself. Real Arabic? Yani, maqam Ibrahim Allah said, pray maqam Ibrahim. Allah didn't say, get your salat from the maqam Ibrahim. You see? Allah said, well, maqam, pray in maqam Ibrahim. Allah said. This what, is, is what is the Arabic in English? What the hell you pray? What the hell? What the hell do you mean in English? Make your salat in Maqam Ibrahim. You, you, you translate make. Yes. Make your salat. That is your English. Taqil means make here. Yeah, do your salat. Do means not. You say do. Yeah, in Maqam Do, do, make. Akhi. Uh, give me the meaning of Taqidu, brother. Okay, you cannot find it in English I'm, I'm, first of all. Now you don't find it in English. <laughs> so, 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 somewhere. Okay, or, I can. Here. We can give no, it to yeah, you. No, yeah, yeah. I can. I, 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 can, I can tell you the. the, the no, the, make or do. Allah, if this meaning, the, the meaning you are trying to say should, should be وَأَخُذُ مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى وَأَخُذُ Allah didn't say وَأَخُذُ Allah said وَاتَّغَذُ مِنْ مَقَامِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ مُصَلَّى So we have to understand the Bab, this is the difference of Bab Which Bab is the Tab? Huh? Uh, Which Bab do you mean? أَخَذُوا إِنْ أَخَذَا إِنْ تَعَذْ وَاتَّغَذُ What the Ta'i is there for? وَاتَّغَذُ مِنْ I'm asking Ta'i for what? what? What do you mean? I don't get your question You don't get my question, you speak yeah. Arabic language now I'm asking you, uh, I say Wahadu, Wahadu, Wattahadu, where does the ta identify here? You are asking the wow? Not ta. The ta yani the ta yani in Arabic here. The verb. In the verb. Uh, yeah. Yani wattahadu the wattahadu the Rukudina ta the Ta yani Mahit is Amar. Is Amar Wattahad. Yeah, I know the word is Amar. Mm -hmm. The ta is what? What do you mean the ta is what? Ta is Amar. Ta wa wow amar ta and wa. What? Wow, wow is and ta is ta ta. So when you say wakhazu, what is a wakhazu? What is a what is wakhazu? If you say the wakhudu is, is a fail, then you get your salat from the maqam of Ibrahim. Allah should say the wakhudu, but said what ta khadu. What is the difference ta ta and kha? Wakhazu, what you say in Arabic, wakhazu? There, there is one tek. Okay, tek. Okay. And what ta khadu? Yani, what ta khadu is then you pray there. Not no, no, Arabic, pray. Arabic, English, English, pray there. I, I am telling you to pray there. It's not, yani, yani, follow the people praying there. This is what you say. No, I didn't say that. That's what you said. No, no, I didn't say follow the people there praying. I didn't say that. That's, That's what you said. said. Follow the Imam. He said, no, I didn't say that. The meaning of what Taqidu means you take. If you take, yani if saying that you yani you die time, second person, second person plural uh, is that the plural? It's always in second, second person. person. So I that you were saying that he moves the time. Um, He's removing the time, creating wakhazu. So I'm saying what lakhazu min makam min min from makam is the standing. Yeah. Musalla means the place of prayer. Yeah. Word by word I give that a translation. What lakhazu and what lakhazu means stay min means from makam is standing. Musalla means the place of prayer. Akhi. Akhi, one and now you, you agree to word by word. What takhidu apart from what takhidu? Min means from? Min means from or not? Yes. Okay. Makam means standing position? Hmm? The standing position? Makam, if we're talking about the, the general speaking, makam could be. Standing of Ibrahim. Could be makam, could be the. Standing of Ibrahim. Or even makam can be your house. Okay, but here it's not house, it's standing of Ibrahim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Standing with Ibrahim. Where did Ibrahim stand? Yes, this is where. Mm -hmm. Because he was Imam. Musalla. No, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, another problem. Okay, hold on. Musalla means the place of prayer. Is that alright? Musalla is where Place of prayer. This this Jalam is where you just heard. Mm -hmm. Musalla, yeah. Is Musalla. This is not Arabic Musalla. So every word I translate and you agree except what Tahidu. So you give the meaning of what Tahid, you said do what? Mean from the Makam Ibrahim, from the standing okay, of the okay, prayer. Okay, you saying that, uh, still you saying the Musalla. But Allah, place of prayer. Oh, okay, place of prayer. Allah didn't ask you, yani, follow the people there. Not the place, no, I didn't say the people. Yeah. The Imam there, yeah. where Allah tell you. وَإِذِ اِبْتَلَاءَ إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّوا بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَتَمَّهُ نَقَالِ النَّا يَعْلِكَ النَّاسِ إِمَامَ Who is the Imam? Ibrahim. Uh, Maqam Ibrahim is Imam of Ibrahim. Ibrahim is the Imam. Akhi, 
אני בא לי בריין, אחי, זה מתן מסתכלי על בריין. לא, לא, אני מבין, אתה יודע את הקונטקסט של הדיאל. אבל מה זה לא עושה? 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 זה The hijab, hijab in Quran, is mentioned with Hazrat Maryam. Oh, so you're looking at the word of Hijab. You're talking about Hijab, the word you have asked, no. the word Hijab. Did, uh, did you ask the Hijab? I, I asked no, no, just hold on. Did you ask the word Hijab? You use no, the word Arabic? No, no, no. This is the, I, not, don't play game, brother. You asked. No, brother, what I asked you. Okay. You okay, asked, hijab, everybody is a witness. I, I was not clarified. I no, 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 you say Hijab in Arabic. No, no. Because hijab is Arabic word. You know that, in, in Arabic, mm -hmm. Hijab. Mm -hmm. Okay, you asked. Where do you get the hijab? 